Hello and welcome to Forex.academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing TokenSwap. Many projects launched on the Ethereum network using its ERC20 protocol in 2017 and 2018. Some of the projects that did subsequently schedule token swaps into their native tokens as part of their blockchain got ready for the market. These tokens started using ERC20 for several reasons. Ease of use as well as the speed to launch, access to investors' funds during the ICO bull market, exchange listings, all of the exchanges could instantly list the token without any trouble. ERC20 tokenization is far less risky for everyone involved as the tokens are following the same standard. ERC20 tokens Besides the famous ERC20 tokens, the Ethereum network also offers other types of tokens, such as ERC223. This network protocol allows its users to send tokens to either their wallet or contract using the same transfer option. This eliminates the potential for confusion as well as lost tokens. Examples of projects that use ERC223 include Chainlink and Shinecoin. Next we have ERC721. This standard is usually used for non-fungible tokens such as Decentralized MANA and OX protocol. Next we have ERC621. This token standard extends the ERC20 function and allows projects to modify the total supply of the created tokens. Next, ERC115. This standard enables developers to issue multiple types of tokens. They can be fungible, non-fungible, as well as semi-fungible. Other token standards include ERC735, ERC865, ERC725, ERC1400, etc. They all serve a different purpose but extend the use of the ERC20 and ERC721 tokens. What is token swap? A token swap represents a process where a cryptocurrency transfers to another blockchain at a set rate. These token swaps usually occur when a cryptocurrency project launches its own blockchain and wishes to transfer its tokens from some other blockchain, like Ethereum. Some blockchains don't have their own platform but instead decide to move their tokens to another platform. One example of such a coin is Mithril. Mithril moved from Ethereum to Binance Chain after a token swap. The ETH which was used to pay the tokens is usually removed from the exchanges. This guide tried to show you when it is the best time to buy or sell these tokens during the timeline. It is also important to note that the external forces do have a significant impact on the outcomes of a token swap. These factors include bull and bear market stages, the quality of the project's marketing and communication, its duration, budget, as well as success at attracting enthusiasts. These factors can also include the numbers as well as relative quality of the exchanges that agree to list the ERC20 token. If and how these exchanges support the token swap and the enabled native token trading plays a significant role in the token's life. On top of that, the token's liquidity, market cap and more factors influence the outcome of the token swap. The primary driver that dictates the token price success seems to be, will the exchange support the new token? Will the exchange list the new native token? The time of the listing of the native token? Other factors certainly influence projects positively or negatively, however, that is left to the trader to decide. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.